Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a post review. Uh, this is the True Artist Diamond Painting Kit called Dancing with the Lion on Doyers. I will make sure to link up in the eye the unboxing for this kit. This is a super sweet 35 by 35 with 31 colors, no ABs. Honestly, I don't think it needed any ABs. You could put them up if you'd like to. Um, if you notice at all that any drills are coming off, it's not that they're falling off the canvas. I just noticed, have you ever noticed certain trays are easier or harder to empty into stor certain storage containers than others? That was what I was having an issue with. Has nothing to do with this post review. Has nothing to do with this canvas. <laughs> and uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome. I am the conductor of the Hot Mess Express. I hope that you enjoy this and uh, my rambles. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along. But anyway, if you guys are been here before, hi, welcome. Thanks for coming back. So anyway, I was using a tray and I just ended up getting a lot on the canvas so I have a bunch of random drills that didn't fall off the canvas I just had them spill I actually have been using this cute little cat vacuum to just pick up any leftover ones the adhesive on this is really good so this took me um four days it was really like three and a half days but one day I fell asleep at like eight o'clock at night so I didn't get to come back and work on it but it took me seven hours and 33 minutes this is a 35 by 35 poured glue, round drill, 31 colors, no ABs. I love this. I love the amount of color blocking that's in this. I love the super clean lines. Sometimes when you have like straight lines, they tend to do them wonky. These were great. You can see like the staircases. Beautiful. I love this. The amount of shine on these drills is unreal. And this is, I have not used my toothbrush on it or like polished it up in any way. Um, for anyone who is curious, you can use an old toothbrush, like not one that you've used. I mean, I guess you could probably sanitize it if you really felt the need to, but I just use a regular toothbrush um, and just wipe off any excess glue or glue wax that I might have. Um, if I haven't already mentioned, I will link this up in the eye for the unboxing. I love this. So the owner of True Artist Diamond Painting, she sells all of her kits on Etsy. They are all legally licensed. She tries to showcase lots of um, minority driven art. So it either represents a lot of minorities or it's created by a lot of minorities. This canvas in particular was for a fundraiser to raise money for the Asian American and Pacific Islander fund. Um, I love this. I love the style of this. I love the gradient in the sunset. I'm assuming sunset. Yeah, I guess it would be sunset. Almost called a rainbow, not a rainbow. Uh, I love the little buildings and you can see the little lights in the buildings. I love the way the windows were done and the staircases were done. You can see that they vary in color, but they all stand out. And then this is gorgeous. What is under my canvas? Oh, another drill. <laughs> so if you have never done a kit from True Artist DP, this is a poured glue canvas. It has more of that um, sticky, tacky kind of glue feel as opposed to some that are just, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but it has that tacky kind of feeling to it. It is a stiffer uh, canvas. If you guys are hearing, my tiny human is babbling on the baby monitor over there. I've got my fan running over here. I don't know why she's still awake. She should be asleep. We had a very long day. That is neither here nor there. But anyway, this is the canvas. Let me show you guys the drills. Um, I will say there was one or two symbols that I had to turn my light pad on and off for to see what they were. If I still have the photo, I'll insert it here so you guys can see it. Um, I made my own labels. This did not come with a an inventory sheet. However, if you have access to a printer, my husband actually just got us a new printer. So I technically could have taken a photo of the legend and then sent it to the printer and then put it through my Xyron sticker maker. But when I kitted this up, um, I didn't, we didn't have the printer. So fun fact, I actually kitted this up. If you guys saw my mini vlog when we went camping, um, I'll make sure to leave that up in the eye as well. 
I kitted this up in hopes that I could take this with us and, uh, you know, time and paint by the fire or whatever, but that did not work out because my child would not sleep unless she was in the bed room with us. So there was no hanging out in the living room or hanging out outside. Again, neither here nor there. So I can tell you, this was number one. Um, this was a whole extra bag that I never even put in and I still had extras. So you can see all of my colors. You can see there's a fair amount of colors. Um, some of these are just, so if you guys can see, look, look at the sparkle. These are not ABs and this shine is unreal. Um, I notice when you have round drills, you can either have the round drills that are completely smooth and just sparkle like crazy or you can have the ones that are more faceted um, that also sparkle. And then you can have like round ones that look super, super dull. And when I'm saying round ones, yes, these are round drills, but I mean like the domed ones. These are completely domed. They're not faceted, but they, the shine is unreal. Uh, where's... La, 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 la. I mean, look at these, you guys. Um, and you will notice like this one has a couple... Um, different color in it they it just when it was in the bags they were like that um honestly i have no trash to share with you guys with you guys um these are just ones i picked off because they fell off but this is my trash pile and you can see like none of these are trash drills i had a couple of those really itty bitty mini round drills that i just picked out and put out of the way they they did not interfere or um take away from this canvas in any way, shape, or form. But I'm saying every single one of these colors has leftover drills. I'm one of those people that always fears I'm going to run out of drills. And I had that moment like once or twice with this, and then I realized like I, uh, I have more than enough. For anyone who is curious, this is uh, Harbor Freight storage containers for those who live in the U.S. And then I put this in the larger, bless you, that's my husband, um, I think this is called the 54 piece kit. Either way, I'll try to link that down below if I remember. So I love this, you guys. It worked up super quickly. If you are somebody that does not like color blocking, I'm not going to recommend this one for you. If you are somebody who doesn't mind color blocking or you love color blocking, this is the canvas for you. I snuck this one in the very last day of July. I had been participating in the DP holiday in July being hosted by Audra over on Instagram. I'll leave all of her information down below as well. Um, she was doing a really cool thing. We're doing emoji trivia as well as a canvas that fit any holiday. And I decided I really wanted to participate with a canvas as well as the emoji trivia. Um, and even though I only could start on the last day of the event, I still wanted to support her and, um, to remember that diamond painting events are all about raising up the community. It's about interacting with people you've never interacted with. It's about encouraging one another. It's not about who's going to win what prize and is it available for this person or that person. It's not about the prizes. It's about building the community. And I think that Audra did a fantastic job and I was completely honored that I was able to participate. This is actually... The canvas that she chose to finish as well. So that was pretty cool. So thank you to Audra for that. I love this, you guys. I can't say it enough. There's a little bit of overhang here in the glue. Not a super big deal. Um, if you're one of those people that likes to cut off your legends, the legends are very, very close to the drill field. Like very, very close. Um, for me, it wasn't a big deal. I like that the, the it was on both sides. It made it really easy to work. Even though this was a small canvas, I still rotated it to work on it the best way that I could. Uh, my husband was out with a couple of his friends, and I finished this up literally as he was pulling in the driveway. Uh, I heard the garage open as I was putting down my last couple drills. And it was so nice that this worked up so quickly and so easily. Sometimes you just need those smaller kits. Um, I call them pallet. I almost called it a palette extender. Not what I was going to call it. Um, 
a palate cleanser, like some sorbet. You know, sometimes it gives you that much needed break between larger canvases or switching up between certain types of drills. Um, I just, I'm really glad I did this. This has been sitting there kitted up for so long and I'm really, really happy with it, you guys. I highly, highly recommend. I will make sure to link this down in the description box. Um, I believe this is still available in the Etsy shop when I looked last. Uh, but she is always adding new artists. So make sure that you follow the Etsy shop. You favorite it, you heart it, whatever you want to do. Follow her on Instagram. I will leave all of the information down below. The owner is such a sweet woman and she is based in New Jersey. So if you are US based, she ships from the US. If you are on the East Coast, you'll get your super quick because, well, she's East Coast. There's not a lot that I can say. I mean, honestly, the only downside I had was I think it was the letter H. It was just difficult to see on the actual canvas. So I had to turn the lights on and off a few times. But I don't know if that was... The symbol wasn't blurry. It just seemed like everything around it was super vibrant. And that was a duller color. So maybe it was a saturation issue. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. It didn't impede me. I am absolutely going to purchase another canvas. Um, I love what grace is doing over in her shop so if you guys haven't picked up one i highly highly recommend <sighs> i love this you guys i don't know how many more times i can say this this was super cute um it's nice to have a finish in august within the first couple days of the month i will next be moving on to my oz in aug canvas and uh and that's all I got for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, make sure you hit that notification bell. Ten. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. I record while my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.